Cheers to yourself. Cheers. No matter where you're at, actually yeah. share with Brendan and I where you're coming in at live, joining us um, from all around the world, right? So many of you share with us where you're coming in from. And it just like literally fills my heart because the power of what we're doing at the Growth Day Morning Show, we're all coming together um, to grow and to share and to bring the joy and to inspire. And I think there's no better way to kick off a Monday than to say happy Growth Day and good morning. And, it. Uh, and it is a great day and a great week to grow. Brendan, so, okay, for everyone just joining us, maybe this is the first time you're like, are they just live together? So we do this Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we come in live, and it's the Growth Day Morning Show. So we're here every single day, Monday through Friday, and today kicks off episode 41. This come is on. week nine. Week nine, y'all. Brendan and I oh. didn't know. It's Everybody supporting it. this. Yeah, we had no idea. Everyone supporting this. Cheers to you. Everyone in the Growth Day community, official yeah. members, we appreciate you. We appreciate your support of, of Growth Day. We appreciate your support of Jamie's book, Believe It, of her last unstoppable event, which was unstoppable. And <laughs> <laughs> it's just exciting because you and I are also almost on the other side of a launch, which is great. So your, your book is out. Came out number one, Amazon number one, uh, Wall Street Journal. I mean, New York Times bestseller now. It's just such an, an exciting thing. You pull off your first ever event. We launched Growth Day in January. And we're just trying to help everybody every morning. How do you bring more joy and excellence and connection and meaning into your life every day? Yeah. And not by hoping it, but by doing the personal development work to unlock those beliefs to summon up that courage, to endure the hard days of a pandemic, yeah. to you know, write and, and reignite your life after what has been a really hard year for so many people. It's a challenge to stay motivated and driven. And I feel like what we're doing uniquely in Growth Day is we're reminding people that the positivity coming into your ears is wiring your brain, setting up those synapses for positivity and helping you remember you're not alone as you're a weirdo trying to do personal development like us. It's like, yes, we read books. Yes, we listen to podcasts. Yes, we write down our goals and we use our planners and we want to contribute and be great moms and dads and caregivers and leaders. And that's inspiring and motivating. And I'm pumped about it with this community. It's, it's been a blessing. Yeah, for sure. And I know, um, you know, one of the big things coming up too. one of the big, 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 exciting things that's been so much work and time is the app, the growth thing, oh app, my which I just have to say, I'm a little biased toward because from the first time I saw the logo, I was like, I just in my brain right away, like I saw it and like, I saw it so far ahead in my life. I imagined myself in the morning uh, getting on elliptical, which I never want to do, but I get to do. <laughs> and then, <laughs> or the morning walk. And I imagine looking at my phone and seeing this app or seeing this, this logo and thinking, oh, it's going to like, already it made me feel happy. Um, and like, I want to tap into it like it's like my friend. That's going to sound weird. But that's how I felt the first time I saw this. And you have such a big vision for what you're doing with this. Can you, like, would you be okay sharing with everyone what's going on? Cause this is big y'all. This is like big, 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 big. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Well, first, thank you for the coffee mug. Cause Jamie actually sent me these coffee mugs. I, we've been so busy launching growth day. I haven't even done the swag or any of the stuff you guys keep asking me for. So I appreciate your patience on that. Uh, we have just been so excited about this mission. Uh, what I really decided with growth day was First and foremost, I just wanted to impart that with the branding, which is growth day. Every day is a great day to grow. And so few people do the self-reflection and self-awareness to find their happiness, to find what they really feel about their marriage or their work or their finances. And so we're all so busy. You know, we live in this hustle culture where very few people do just take a moment for your own personal development and wellness every day. And so I said, I want to be part of people's lives in that way and, and assist with that. So that's part of the Growth Day Morning Show. But the offering of Growth Days, like our full members here, I know tons of you guys are in our actual Growth Day members. Growth Day is where we go live with the world's best personal development trainers, live, twice a week, coaching you and helping you in these different areas, your finances or your focus or your resilience or your wellness. Uh, we have the world's best coaches who literally go live. They teach for 30 
minutes or 30, 40 minutes. And then they do Q and A for 30 or 40 minutes. And everybody always says, I want a, you know, a higher achieving community. Or they say, I don't have mentors. And I was like, we built it. That's what Growth Day is. And people can already sign up at growthday.com. And it's so awesome because we just, uh, we, you know, you and I have the network to bring together the most extraordinary people to help people all week. And so you can attend these live sessions or you can watch the replays. And so far it's only been live. So the big vision is it's just been live. It's all been personal development. But we've been building the app, which is all the tools behind it. So for those of you who are journal junkies, you love doing journals. Now there's an app for that. Uh, it, it doesn't come out until April 15th, by the way. But the Growth Day app will have your journal, your life assessments, your life scores, your habit tracking, your goal setting. It will have your ability to watch the coaches live on your phone, your iPad, your computer, your Apple TV, uh, your Amazon, your, you know, your Roku or whatever, <laughs> like anywhere you want to watch it. It will also, though, help you track and manage your personal development in a way a lot of people track and manage their you know, calories or their finances or their stocks. So we've made it really interactive and it's, it's gonna be the number one platform for personal development in the world. And uh, we, we just said, we're gonna go for it. And so Jamie, thank you for being part of the morning show. You've given such great insights about uh, so many things already with Growth Day and we're just getting warmed up y'all. So for those who are new and you're here, I, I'm so proud to say we launched Growth Day in a pandemic and it's already you know, in the top of its category for what we do. So that's been your support, your cheering us on. And I want to say all this, even though I'm describing it, what I want to say for each of you, whatever that big vision is for you this week, let's go. Well, whatever, you know, I posted this morning on Instagram, I said, stop obsessing just about the little things and, you know, doing the administration. What's the big projects, the, the big dreams, make sure those have hours that you're working on each day, meaning move the needle forward to the things that matter the most to you versus just doing what I call procrastination tasks, mm. which is like, oh, I can do these things because they're easy and I don't have to do that thing because it's hard, but that thing that's hard that will move your life forward, go for it, it's Monday, let's go. Let's go. And you know, last week, a big thing, I talked about this because it was the most number of posts I've ever seen. The most number of posts was the day we talked about uh, scheduling yes. life into life, right? Yeah. And it was like that. You know the you know the emoji where the uh, head explodes because it's like <laughs> an aha moment. That's the biggest emoji I saw from people saying. And I I understood this because it's like so many of us schedule all these things, but we don't schedule life into life. We we don't put it on our calendar. And what you're just saying, I think, is really powerful <laughs> too. Talking about. By the way, can I just say something? When I'm anytime, always knocking my phone. No, over. anytime your phone falls over, I told Brendan this last week. I don't know like why I show. find it so funny. It's one of my favorite <laughs> because you know what it reminds me of? We're all here live together. Like it's real. There's no script. Like Brendan and I are showing up along with all of you in the Growth Day Morning Show, full hearts open, like all in this together and for some reason, maybe it's because growing up you just see television, right? And 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 it's like, this is so different and so transformative. And the fact that we're all live sharing this morning together right now, like we're all connected, our, our energy, our hearts, we're all connected live doing something really special um, yes. coming together. We might be the only ones in our family that would ever join a morning show like this. And no one else has any desire to grow or to dream or to uh, improve themselves. And they think we're all crazy. It's all right. Like we're coming together and we're all growing. So when your phone falls over, it just every <laughs> other show, every other show. And here's why it's like, I was like, why is that happening? Because I'm, I'm kind of, I'm at the dials here. Like I'm running the live stream into Facebook. So I'm always, so I've got my phone set up on my laptop, but I'm also trying to engage with everybody on Facebook in the comments. So I'm watching the comments for our questions and, and where people are tuning in from. And we just, we love to watch your comments. So thank you for all, yes, for all the comments, but you. I'm actually, I'm trying to read them and administer the, the live cast as we're doing it. Inevitably, I do something on my laptop, <laughs> knocks the phone over because <laughs> it's such a janky setup. If you all saw this, you'd be like, what? Uh, but I know some of you have been out there on your Zooms with your laptop on a box. My, my laptop's yeah. on a box right now. Yeah. I know Jamie's on a stack of books right now. Yeah. And so every time I press like the comments refresh or something from the admin panel, it just becomes precarious. Plus I get too excited and I knock over things a lot in my life. You can ask Denise, my wife, about it. Like, I'm kind of, I'm, 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 what is it? I'm a, I'm a disastrosaurus a little bit. I knock things over all the time. 
No, but it's great too, because you also build several multi-million dollar companies and you coach like the most incredible human beings on the planet. Um, and so I just love it because this morning show too is like, oh, we're all live. We're all connected. And Brendan's phone falls over every other day. And I just think it's like brilliant because that's what happens inside our homes when we're all family. We see like the real stuff, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's what I think so special about this morning show too, is we just kind of share the real stuff um, behind the stuff. But one thing I was going to say was that when we talk about scheduling life into life, one thing you just said was, um, you know, this week, right? Make this a week where you're not just going through the, the procrastination tasks or the thing, all the stuff, but even that you're thinking about what's your bigger vision and what's your bigger thing. Well, I also think like, even if we're so busy and we have stuff going on, even scheduling our bigger vision <laughs> into our day, even if it's just 15 minutes to think about it, right? Yeah. Right? Because if we don't do that, all of a sudden, like another week, another month, another year goes by. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy yeah. how fast time goes by if we're not intentional about scheduling life into life or about scheduling the big thing into even just the space of our own awareness and our own focus. Yeah. And you know what everybody wants? I always say this, you know, what, what everybody wants after they've had everything or they think they've got to achieve this project or their goal, what everybody always wants is more aliveness, more connection, and more meaning. And you don't put those like on a tiny to-do list. And what I always tell people is like, mm -hmm. be careful. Of your, if you're always working lists, but you're never working your lifestyle, you're going to end up a very busy person with busy work, but you'll never find your life's work and the and the enjoyment and enrichment you want out of life. And what that means is you have to, at the, this is Monday. So this is a great day for everybody to look at your upcoming week and just do two or three simple things. One, make sure there's blocks of time scheduled out for you to do the most important things for yourself every single day. And to make sure there's time for you to do the most important things, moving the major projects forward. Like that's what we learned from high performance habits, which was this research study we found the highest performers spend 60% of their week working on needle movers, meaning the biggest projects, the most important things. They still spend 40% on the stupid stuff and the admin stuff and the things they don't love and the organization of the thing that they don't might not like. But 60%, they're moving it forward. That's huge. And then the other thing is, okay, it's Monday. So by Friday, what are your Friday finishers? What are you going to do by the end, by 5 p.m. on Friday, these set of tasks or priorities will be done by the end of this week. It's called your Friday finisher. So if you're an author, your Friday finisher is this chapter is done. If you're, you know, if you're a team builder, your Friday finishers is this much sales. If you're, you know, you're building something that's important to you, it's, oh, we finish all these major releases or tasks by the end of the day Friday. And it just gives you that motivation to look towards the end of the week to know what you're going to go after. But in all of that, did you schedule some downtime, some reflection time, some personal development. I know many of you come together with us in growth day. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we go live at 10 a.m. Pacific with a new growth day coach. Jamie's is a growth day coach. Jenna, you know, Jenna Kutcher is a growth day coach. Uh, Dr. Daniel Amen came on with us this month as a growth day coach. David Bach is a growth day coach. Uh, oh my gosh, Gloria Tonmo, uh, Anthony Trucks. Like we just have the, the who's Mel Robbins, Dave Mel Hollis. Robbins. It's okay. just like, the, it's the who's who of personal development going live for you. Your spa or your long walk with your spouse or whatever it is your thing is that you're going to schedule in. But I think it's really critical people do that. And when they do, they find more life. Mm, yeah, that's so good. Um, can you share too, Brendan, just because I'm, I love learning live with everyone else. Um, he, here's the thing. So when I think about, um, when I think about the growth day app, right? And I think about all the things and, and how it's going to become part of our life almost as a resource. One of the things I talk about in Believe It in my book is over the years of rejection and resilience, like how I built resiliency and how I kept going every time I would get knocked down and how I get back up is I kind of built this imaginary toolbox. Um, and I would keep my favorite stories in it, my favorite quotes, like, like things that I needed to remember, right? And, and it was half of it's in my head. I put it on a notes app in my phone and I go back like on days I'm crying myself to sleep from another big rejection where I didn't know how my company was going to make it. Um, and I go back to that and I pull from it. And when I hear you talk about the growth day app, 
I can't help but think like, oh my gosh, is this literally going to be almost like a toolbox for everyone, right? That they can go to, because you're talking about journaling, that they can go to, pull from, lean on when they're feeling down, lean on when they need that boost of inspiration in real time from wherever they're at, even if it's like I was, which for a lot of years, I mean, I'd literally be under my covers, crying myself to sleep, not knowing how my business was going to make it, right? Everyone sees the outcome of, oh, wow, you built a billion dollar company or a thousand employees, all these things. But the years of getting there and the tools I had to lean on and implement and grow and the lessons on resiliency. And, and part of that was just pulling from things where I needed the reminder of like yeah. who I am, where I'm going, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, so when I think of the Growth Day app, I get fired up over this because the way I did it was so uh, unstructured. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. And can you yes. just share a little bit more? And <laughs> random. Can yes. you share a little bit more just about your vision for this? Because I, I, the reason I'm fired up about it most is because I know how powerful it can be to have this kind of a toolbox in your life. And I just think about how I think about, cause you know, I believe we're all here on this earth to compete with our own potential of the person we are, we have the potential to become who God made us, you know, uh, capable of becoming. And I just think I'm so excited at the role the toolbox will help in people's life or the, the growth they app. Can you just share like your whole vision? Cause I, I also want to wrap my head around it and I'm excited and fired up on a Monday morning. Yeah. On a Monday morning. Cheers. I mean, here's my belief. If you leave your growth to randomness, you will always be locked in the land of mediocrity. Mm. If growth is just something that once in a while happens for you and fits and starts, you're never going to rise to that level of full potential. But worse, you just won't feel consistently good. I mean, yeah. part of the reason people listen to motivational podcasts or watch motivational videos is for a feeling. It's like, oh, right. There's hope, there's inspiration. Oh, I can overcome this. You're stronger than you think. The future's good things for you. Like when you hear these things, it's like, oh, right. It just gets you out of bed in the morning. It helps you keep going. And I had the blessing of that. When I was a depressed and suicidal teenager, I discovered personal development and psychology and philosophy. And I fell in love with it and it turned my life around because everyone wants to change their life. Very few people know how and very few people have the tools or the mentors. And so growth day is the how. It's the tools. And the mentors, instead of randomly organized, you're hoping to do it with, you have a journal app over here, you have a life assessment you took from one, that one website that one time, you, you, know, you have like uh, this collection of mentors, but maybe they're not really that high succeeding. Uh, and so you're in this place of like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to grow. So Growth Day brings it all together in an app. The app launches April 15th. Right now, people can already sign up to be part of the Growth Day community at growthday.com, which is awesome. And so we are already doing the live training pieces, the live broadcast, the tools all come out. But my hope is that it does become part of your daily journey. Yeah. You know, it's, what, if, what if all of your journal, what if you completed your journal at the end of the night, maybe you wrote down your gratitude journal or you wrote down what you learned that day about yourself, your spouse, your partner, or others. And then as soon as you finish it, it prompted you and said, hey, let's, um, let's score your mood today. Or hey, let's score your, your habits. And you quickly do a score of your habits. And then you can see over the course of a week and a month, like where, which habits are down or where your mood was and why. And you can associate it with different things like, oh, that's what was going on for me. Oh, that's why I had this week. But also the instruction. Everyone needs a positive environment. Our community is the best in the world. Growth Day community, you all see, look at the chat. I mean, you guys are awesome, right? It's like the chat is hot. And then second, it's just, so environment, you need education which is new strategies. You don't break through without new strategy. And then third, empowering mentors. People who've been there, done it. Jamie's built this business. You have the other people who have advised the most successful people in the world. You have people who help you get fit or healthy of mind, body, soul, and spirit in the Growth Day community. So for me, it's just that we just wanna be, the simple vision is, it's the number one platform in personal development. It's where you go for your personal development. That's it. It's the highest quality, the highest caliber, the highest environment, the highest level of mentors. And it's a tool that you can use every day. And sorry to go off on this today, by the way, but it's just, it's what I'm really excited about. And I only have 40 days to get it out there. So <laughs> you guys don't have to forgive me. I'm a little punchy. We're working so hard on this thing right now. We have a team of, you know, over 40 people just cranking every single day uh, since the middle of the pandemic to bring this to you all. 
And we've been kind of silent about the app part. And uh, so you'll hear us talking more about it. But I also want to talk, I want to use this time, Jamie, for what are your big things this week that you're working mm -hmm. on? Because you're launching Believe It. You're still pushing that message and will be because it's such a pit, uh, purpose and mission for you. Like when you were yeah. on Monday, how do you look at the week and what are you excited about? Yeah. Well, first, I, I, one thing I forgot to say off the top is happy International Women's Day to everyone. Yes. I know so many people in, in our Great Day community are, are hopping in from all over the world. Happy International Women's Day. I got purple on today uh, for the day. And um, so this is a really big week. It's been a, a um, so, so not everyone knows this. I've been in a hotel room <laughs> for, for a lot of days, and I finally get to fly home and see my babies tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Oh, yeah, about. you're going home. Yeah. Um, it's great. been a lot because, you know, it all started with this, my first ever live event that I've ever done. And, and I am, uh, you know, there's that saying, how people do small things is how they do all things. And I wanted to make sure I got the small things right and the details right. And I, I flew out a week early and was just – you know, we had 18 live speakers and it was just a whole thing and poured my heart into it. And then that went right into the book launch. And so I've done 107 press, uh, 107 oh press, um, yeah, interviews, what? um, all from mostly all from this hotel room in the past couple of weeks. And it's been nonstop. And then, uh, but so great. Um, Can you all so imagine great. doing 107 <laughs> Zoom calls <laughs> In like three weeks. Of What's interesting <laughs> too is, is, you know, the old way press used to be done is in these five minute segments, three minute segments, right on a different shows. And nowadays, a lot of it is podcasts, which are much longer. So the actual time you give and the energy and, and you never know what someone's going to ask you. So none of the questions are planned and you, you just show up. And um, so it's been a lot. And, uh, and uh, and then yesterday, um, so to give an example, <laughs> yesterday was like a 4 a.m. start time, but it's a, such a gift, right? Like launching a book into the world, launching your growth day app. Like when you believe so strongly what you're doing and that it's so much bigger than yourself, like that's what's driving me right now. So yesterday I did a keynote for UPW for Tony Robbins. So there was 30,000 people live. Um, and I did that and it was amazing and at the very end Brendan I almost like I, it was so all all these people started holding their book up at the end and like I was just like it hit me oh my gosh this is real like believe it's getting out into the world now it's only yes it only launched last week right or it, it, Tuesday of yeah so it's been a whirlwind um and then a big thing happened last night which was that I went on and did a QVC show at midnight and then today I have four more QVC shows where um, I'm presenting the book and it's, it's just a moment of growth for me that I want to share because, you know, I've shared, I've shared a little bit about this before, but for almost a decade, I didn't feel the day. 